So, we left our hero in Hateno Village. And here it is. Here's the village in question. That's my goal. Old tech lab. But this is my destination. The exact opposite direction. Specifically, uh, I've noticed that I've explored like the southeastern part of the map, basically. And that's cool. But there's a gap. This area in Farron, between Farron and Haitno, or Farron and Nekluda, is uh, extremely unexplored, even though I've been into parts of it. Like, I know I've been around there. I've certainly obviously been here. So I want to go and find a tower there, see what I can do. It might be best to start from the Lake Hylia Tower. Lake Hylia is itself a place I have yet to explore much of. Um, or, but what I'll do is I'll just climb this mountain and see what I can see to the west and south. was kind of pretty. I definitely let its reputation put me off for a while, but uh, I like the idea of having a house there. Look at that high up lake. Hey, there's a dude here. And fairies. Gimme. Uh, I guess I can talk to the dude first. I'm just like, I'm remembering earlier games where I was always more, fairies were quite elusive and would run away from you. A soulmate. No, I can't say that's the reason I'm here. <coughs> I, would, I came up here because it was in the way. <laughs> I needed to get to the other side of the mountain. Oh, sorry, Mamos. You may have to keep looking. Sweetheart's Pond. A little like the Great Fairy Pond in Kakariko Village. A pair of lungs. Fairies, they're good. Hmm. It does make me wonder if, if there could be another Great Fairy here. And if so, how to find her. Oh, frogs. Not exactly a fairy, but it's still good to have. There's a long path down the mountain. That's probably the way people get up here if they're not mountain climbers. Well, let's poke around here just a, a minute. We've got the lake itself. The path. I can see why people would call it Sweetheart Lake. It's actually in the shape of a heart. I thought it looked like a pair of lungs at first. It's like a, a broken heart. Maybe this is exactly the wrong place for Minos to be looking. Yeah. Maybe it's not a great high, fairy hideout at all. I don't know. Well, there's nothing obvious to do here. So let's look to the south and west. Into the lands of I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's a tall mountain there. An obvious course of action would be to ascend it. I feel like I may have actually already been up there. Because I've, I've, I've done that shrine. This is one of the reasons I want a map of this region. I'm just not sure where I have and haven't been. Alright, well, I don't see a tower from here. So let's start at Lake Hylia. 
Uh, Wood Julian Peaks. Hmm. A lake tower. Because <coughs> then I'll be living directly east. And um, there won't be a mountain range in the way, so I should be able to see stuff. What you may have just heard due to an oversensitive microphone was a yawn. This is late night Zelda. It's a very relaxing game though. Although recording it is not usually so relaxing. So, oh! Look, it's a cross thing. I don't know what that is, but I clearly want to, to land on it. <coughs> uh, Farron. Oh, there's a tower. No, that's the wrong way. That'd be to the east, not the west. Aha! That. Is it? The terrain is more jungly than I anticipated. That said, I have been down there a little. I've been to that stables too. Okay, here's my plan. I want to go to the stables, get a horse, use the horse to go to the tower, and to explore the region in general a little bit. So just a little bit. I don't want to waste too much time here. But I'll start by flying down to this cross thing. Well, that looks like a Korok seed spot. Aha! It's a cross made of rocks and there's one rock missing. Where can I find a nearby rock? I think I see one. Do, 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 do. Look at him waggling those sticks of little berries on him. Shoot. And I do need to go and test to. There's something burning over there which attracts me. That's not the direction I'm supposed to be going in. I'm trying to head to these stables. Which is like... Oh, hang on. I can teleport to the stables. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's called fast travel technically, but like, it's using some kind of Sheikah teleportation magic or power or technology. I don't know, it's like a, a transporter in Star Trek. It looks like it does the same thing as a transporter, it sort of rips your body apart into pieces, pieces uh, digitizes it, reassembles at the destination, I don't know. Hopefully without all of the existential questions involved in transporting, though those made for some fun episodes. Right, there's my goal. Highland stable, so I'm in the Highlands. I'm not sure I've actually visited this stable before. I've been near it, of course. Oh, shit, something's happening out there. Don't tell me. Some kind of fight is going on. I better not be a leaker. Oh, no. It's not. A, still a somewhat dangerous situation. Okay, this is uh, potentially a higher level area than I expected. Let's use some goods. I'm gonna get tough. Well, no, I'm gonna get healthy. And separately, I'm gonna get tough for a long time. And I'm gonna equip some sort of good weapon. Yeah, decent weapon. And good shield. Use them to fight some guys with. Whoa. Ah. Thankfully, with all these bonuses on, I can kind of afford to get run down a little bit. I don't really want to. Oh, 
shield isn't particularly effective, I think, against being hit by a horse. So I've got to unhorse them as a matter of priority. don't seem very loyal to their Bacoblin masters. Hey, it's Restless Crooked. I need ten of those. Are you... Oh, not over yet. I'm not sure whether this is the only person being attacked by the Bacoblins, or whether there were two of them. Oh, thank you for this electro fruit cake. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but uh... huh? A lot of monsters near the stable. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think I had been to this stable before. So I would have noticed it being under constant monster attack. I should probably talk to the people there and see if I can help them with anything. Though I guess what they really need is for the world to be saved from Calamity Ganon, which is like what everyone else needs anyway. I don't think I'll bother using a spiked Boku Club, but I could run out of weapons, you never know. Our beetles here, things can't be too bad. What are the chances? Uh, yeah, show me your stuff. I need to acquire, since I'm in a wooded region, 30 chunks of wood and 3,000 rupees. I've actually picked up a lot of wood off screen, but not enough yet. And I do have 3,000 rupees, but I'm about to lose some of them again, because I want to buy these arrows. So I'll try and sell stuff to Beetle to keep my money up. I believe I have some opals that I found oh. in a rock. Maybe amber also. Yeah. Wow. Yay. Amber isn't actually worth that much though. Wow. Okay, I'm still above 3,000 rupees. Yeah, that's what it'll take to pay for and furnish the house I want to buy in Hate No Village. Faster? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Hmm. A good rider. Sure, I'll have a horse challenge. Horseback obstacle course. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, this seems good. Cool. Hey. I want the faster of my horses. Yeah, Satan is very slow, but Doug is very fast. Thank you. Now, about this thing where the stable has got a lot of monsters around it. Eh, I guess there's no one else to talk to about that. I can talk to this guy here. He'll just offer to sell me a bed. Though I guess I shouldn't make assumptions about people. A couple of horse looker after us here. Ah! Horseback hoodlums. Thank you. Thank you for this carrot. Wait, you can do that? Also, it looks like I may have already completed the quest. Defeated all the gang members. Alright. Hello. I will stay for long enough to challenge this guy at least. Uh, no. I want to win some gear off a guy and then get it changed. Thank you anyway. 
Hmm. So it hadn't really occurred to me before to try this. I know that in real life, horses like carrots quite a lot. So. Oh, wow. Wow, nice. He just snatched it right around my palm and uh, bombed up. Alright. So... Blin, if that really is your name. Show me this obstacle course. the obstacles. I don't actually know how to jump on a horse. So this could be interesting. Oh. Mm-hmm. For some reason, bonus carrot things right now. Is this because I recently fed dug a carrot? Oh no, my control wasn't precise enough there. Wow, I'm not actually very good at this. Why? I'll treat this as basically learning the course. The jumping, by the way, uh, is easy because you just don't do anything. Horses know how to jump themselves, it turns out. You've got to aim well to achieve that. Well, that wasn't so good. Ah, <laughs> oh, the time's still ticking until you actually get closer to it. You made it! A very bad score, though. Hmm. Well, if he's giving my horse carrots, I guess uh, he's not such a bad guy. Let's try that at least one more time. <laughs> Giddy up! The important thing is to get lined up well in advance. Once you've got that down, you can aim for fancy stuff like going fast. Oh shit. What was wrong there? So not close enough to the center of the jumpable thing? Oh. Ah, what? Okay, I don't know what I did wrong there. I felt like, I felt like Doug was fighting me almost. Fast enough. 
Oh, it sucks. Bad time again. Well, at least it's better than my first time. Hmm. By a few seconds. I can do this as long as I can not fail that one particular hurdle. <laughs> this challenge feels like a very Legend of Zelda thing, by the way. Like, this is exactly what you expect in these games. You can be quite close to the bowls. I'm a little baffled by why I've been having problems with this one. <laughs> Not that close. The ridge is throwing me off, riding up it. Oh, what? Not command that last minute swerve. What? What is your problem, horse? Let's try coming in way down this edge. Whoop! No, 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 What? I literally took my hands off the controller there. I was lined up, forcing forward, and Doug actually swerved. Okay, what? Did you see that? Did you all see this event? He literally like just kind of stopped and would not jump. Yeah. <laughs> it happened again. Let's see if it's easier coming from the other direction, although surely that will like throw off my whole rhythm. But Okay, once again, I've had a confusing horse situation where he just kind of didn't follow the track I was on. Okay, that jump was okay, but... There is the road following thing, that's part of what's going on here, but... I don't know. No! Horses uh, have a mind of their own. They will do things like move to not hit obstacles. That I understand. So you're like coming too close to one side of the pillar and having him go around it. Having him go around it of his own volition. Fine, sure, that makes sense. What I don't understand is the behavior in general with that one hurdle. I don't think I'll get a carrot for that one. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure the jump is easier if you come from the other direction, but not, not all the way easier. Like, it's not trivial. And, um, that would be such a waste of time. 
Unless I rode the whole course in reverse, maybe. The timing of my whipping may be wrong. Like, um, a couple of times when Doug shied just as I approached the hurdle. That could have been because I whipped too close to it, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's really a thing. What? So that was the, um, the go-around behavior I described. Where your horse thinks you're gonna crash into something and decides to avoid it. I'm actually trying something a little different here. In terms of control. It's a bit hard to describe while I'm doing it. Okay, that worked. Right, okay, so... I've got used to... <coughs> lift thumb off force control. Um... Like... You don't actually have to have a thumb on the stick all the time, because your horse knows how to go forwards. But if you want really precise control... Ah, maybe it's not actually that much of a factor. I'm not even going to make the 1 minute 30 mark. This is quite difficult. <coughs> I'm undecided on the holding the stick forwards thing. I I was feeling like like it might prevent them from swerving off on their own, but it kind of it kind of seemed like it did on the really tough hurdle, but then didn't on a different one. Or maybe maybe the horse treats different kind of obstacles in different ways. Would make sense. And maybe I'm like running across multiple behaviours here. For example, the road following thing and the <laughs> obstacle avoiding thing. You don't need to be coming straight on to the gate or anything. It helps, but it's not necessary. Right. Now I'm holding the stick forward. Try no! No! Why? Confidence, horse. Don't swerve. Okay, thank you. Why was that so difficult? I guess I'm not the. Nah. No. I should perhaps be prioritizing space over angles. <laughs> Thank. <laughs> I'm spending a lot more money than I expected to on this, but that's fine. Clearly, Link has a lot to learn about horse riding. <laughs> Hitting too close to the poles is deadly. It's 
worse to do that than to be somewhat off center. Completely messed up there. I shouldn't have tried to go again, but um, I don't know why I failed the first time though. No, nope. well, I didn't. No control inputs here. Did you see that? My horse, who could definitely have made that jump, just kind of decided not to. Okay. I'm trying to see how much space you really need to get up to speed. Experiment failed. <laughs> you do presumably have to be going at speed to jump. So there's kind of three normal horse speed levels and then temporary speed boosts. I think you have to be at the highest of the normal speeds, but you don't have to be boosted. Hmm. Maybe using my fastest horse as opposed to my most controllable horse is not actually what I want to be doing here. Although... With Doug's speed, it means if I don't make any mistakes, I should get a really good time. But not making any mistakes, that's the difficult bit. At least this is much more operational than the other equestrian course I came across. Some of these, like, it seems like there's a lot of leeway. And this time, there's just not. Zero mistakes, and I beat his time by a huge chunk. Just, uh, this is the one is very costly. Cool. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah. Well, that's what happens if you like try several times in a row. I guess this guy never thought of that. Extravagant saddle. <laughs> Feeling blue down. No, I don't want to try that again. Cool. All right. I would like Doug, Doug to wear the extravagant saddle, please. Hi. Hi. The horse liker has logged on. Guess I got a new saddle to put on. Wow. Let me just compare those. That truly is extravagant. 
Nice. Okay, I, I also need to show off here. Extravagant saddle and a floral mane. Now that is a pampered horse. Thank you. Right. What's this place called again? Highland Stable. Alright, let's try and head from the Highland Stable east into into wherever is east of here. I'm searching for towers. On my flower bedecked extravagant horse. This is a horse worthy of a hero. I shouldn't get zapped by that ideally. <laughs> oh, would have been ideal if I hadn't. Sometimes the ideal thing is not what happens. At least those are pretty good monster parts. Okay, that's where I want to be. This like miniature jungle full of small mises. Really, the most forcible terrain, is it? <laughs> is that a way down from here? I may have to leave Doug behind to go on on my own for a while. Yeah. All right. Well, it doesn't look like it's too far to the tower. That mountain there is that the same one? Hmm. Yeah, I think I've been on top of that. But not down in this valley to the west of it. Alright. Ooh, what's this circle of rocks here? Oh, now I'm in the circle of rocks. It's unclear whether this is beneficial. I tried to use a shield, <laughs> but I pointed it the wrong way. Yum. Okay, that should be more effective. A deer! Oh man, but I don't know how to get back to the stables from here. Hmm. There's an octo rock also. Well, we'll see how this goes. Ah, the deer's run already. Okay, it's no use. Oh. Let's forget about that. Unless I see another one. Oh, oh rock. Land doctor rocks are so annoying. Who does he think he's fooling? Octo balloons are cool. If you attach them to objects, they float. I haven't been doing that enough. I should do it more. There's no real reason to most of the time. But it's cool. Certainly a slab. Well, off the rocks. I see you. Okay. 
So about this slab. Let's stand here-ish on this thing. Broke a sword, but watch this. <laughs> oh no, don't fall back where it was. Okay, good, good. It's... Oh, there's nothing here. Well, it could have been cool. <laughs> I guess not, though. Uh, okay, so... About that tower. I think... I wonder if I'd maybe... Windy. Oh, didn't expect this little gully. It's quite a stream. It's ruins and a cool bridge. And a person, a human being. And well, no, a Hylian, not a human being at all. Ah, it's the woman who was attacked by monsters earlier. <laughs> I'm an actual adventurer. Farron Woods. Is that where we are? Hmm. Well, let's check out this bridge. Sajon Bridge. Hey. Dragon theory? Huh. I did see something odd from. Oh, sorry. Legends surrounding dragons. I did see something odd once from Hate No Tower when I was looking west into Farron. I saw a kind of. It looked like a flying glowing serpent, much like the one on Lunaru. Um. Chests, I guess. Okay, I'll just push these over to somewhere I can open, open them. Uh, or will I? Try to. I don't think it's going to stick in place. Oh, back in. Cool. I wonder where these came from. Serpent or dragon I saw that night flew off toward the plateau, um, the Great Plateau, the one with the Temple of Time on it. I wonder what was going on. I don't know why this landscape would be particularly dragony, but I guess I'm not the expert. Is it the palm trees? Oh. Surely not the wizard robe. He's lightning powered, so I can't just do an elemental counter on him. Unless possibly bombs are the elemental counter to lightning, but I doubt it. There's like fire wizard robes and lightning wizard robes. Um, you can kill them in one shot with the appropriate arrow. Whoa! Well, that hasn't happened to me before. I wish it hadn't happened to me now. However, I am... Whoa. Didn't realize I was that close to death. So close to death that technically I died. Okay, what I was going to say there is I am carrying a boomerang, so let's... There we go. Oops. So the problem is, is if this doesn't work out, I just sort of throw away my weapon. Uh. Mm. 
got him. The boomerang even came back. Alright. Back to plan tower. Let's try climbing this Mesa for a better view of the immediate surrounds. It's very misty down here. Feels like an almost tropical atmosphere nestled somehow between the clean lands on either side. Maybe there's like geothermal activity? Different colour to the rocks. Rip that goat. I like one-handed weapons. One of the reasons is you can attack with them very quickly even if you didn't have them drawn. Hmm. A lot of statues there. A bit of a chasm here. Doesn't look like anything particularly draconic in the region. That did more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> Head around to the left and see if I can find a way up to those cliffs. They're climbing, of course. But I mean, something more path like. Maybe there won't be such a thing. Hmm. I could approach from the other direction, or I could just do mountain climbing. Oh, it's a little bit. This is a hostile river. Get behind a tree. Yeah, I'll be going straight up the side of the mountain. Oh, that's what my special boots are for. That seems reachable. I don't know how that tree leaf is penetrating the rock face. things happen. Wow, I can see a lot of Octoroks. <laughs> this is like the Octorok homeland or something. I don't even want to go down there. I think I will ignore all of them. Yeah, that seems to be for the best. Let's sail on past. What are these slabs over holes? Interesting. Farron Tower. Whoa. Mushrooms under that one. <laughs> ah! I fell in a hole. Unfortunately, I dropped my weapon. Well, I mean, I threw it away, so, but I don't know where it went. I was hoping that it would land on the ground near him and I could use it to hit him. Whoa! Shitload of bats all of a sudden. Hmm. Got 
need some bets blue suits. <laughs> Don't touch this thing with a metal weapon. Thankfully, I have a metal club. Where did my boomerang go? It suddenly didn't return to me. These slabs aren't vulnerable to exploding, are they? You gotta stasis them. didn't work so well. Let's use a real hammer. Nice. Although I'm breaking weapons to open these things. Make some good stuff with mighty thistles. I've done quite a lot of cooking recently, as you can see from all these dishes. Uh, at one point, I actually filled up my cooking inventory, but I have since eaten some of the less important impressive byproducts. Hmm. So I haven't really noticed before now, but there's something different about Farron Tower. <laughs> And that thing is the lack of uh, halfway points. I either come down from those cliffs, or I'm going to have to go up most of the tower in one go. Let's see... The thing is, if I can climb the cliffs, I can climb the tower, right? I do have a lot of extra stamina these days, and I've got some stamina boosting food and so on. Let's do it. An arduous climb, indeed. I think we'll get through this one on sheer endurance. The boots help a lot. They make climbing take less stamina, basically. Uh, if you were paying attention in the early parts of the game, you might have noticed a thicker red wedge when climbing. The red wedge is now... this thick. I... I'm very close to being able to make that without using any potions. But I better not take the risk. Damn, 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 damn. This particularly sucks because all of my stamina boosting stuff boosts it like too much, like it's too good. Enduring elixir. Cripes. Well, I don't want to waste an enduring elixir on this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, there's some way to do that very slightly better. Start from the top of a palm tree. I think his gliding takes stamina, so I'm not sure how much this will help. That may or may not have been useful. And the fact that I'm coming in directly under one of the rest platforms probably isn't a good idea. So let's adjust as we go.
I don't know why I'm thinking this will work when it didn't work last time. Hope is one thing. But mad optimism in the face of futility? That's not so admirable. I'm so close. I made it! Okay! You're those keepering assholes. You'll get yours when I can glide over there. Which will be soon. Alright, the rest of this thing is a breeze. Not literally, I don't have any wind powers. Apart from the Korok leaf. Right, welcome to Ferran Tower. I'm really looking forward to being able to zoom out and see a whole chunk of the map, basically. Oh, there's a shrine down there. Just one splash of data, please. Cool. Hey, that includes the map for Eventide Island. Alright, let's take a better look. So... This is the region of the game which I have explored. It looks like, um, well, I explored some of it. I haven't been, like, over there. I haven't been up here, etc. Um, but I've been to the towers of these regions. It looks like it could be a quarter or maybe a little more than a quarter of the land of Hyrule. Which I'm now fairly sure is not an island. Oh, no, I can't be certain yet. It could be that I get over here and find there's a western sea and so on. That is cool. Let me show you a mode. Here it is. The Hero's Path mode. I'm gonna fast forward that. There's like, a, you can get the map to um, display a trail of everywhere you've been. And every time you die, it, it plays a little Ooh, ah, noise. <laughs> uh. Ooh, ah. I would have been fighting the Guardian in the bomb shrine there. I may have had an embarrassing number of deaths. I froze to death there, I believe. Killed by Bokoblins. Guardians. Guardians again. That's not so bad. Guardians, but at the castle. This is when I gave up on the castle and began travelling towards Kakariko Village, or at least towards the Dueling Peaks eastern region. The sheltered lands. Found the stables. <laughs> Randomly fighting Bokoblins and or Moblins, I think, at that point, and dying. I did a bunch of exploring involved, sometimes teleporting back and forth. Found some stables, visited the temple, cashing in shrines. What is all this teleportation? I don't remember everything I've done in the game. Ah, that would be when I was fighting the stone talus. <laughs> I do remember that. There's a little too much of this. Let's uh, speed it up. Soros Domain, back and forth. Oh, <laughs> stupid. These freaking Zora histories. Scribble all the map there. Lots of stuff there. Hate no stuff. Eastern Oceans. Eventually I got to where I am now after some other things happened. Cool. Alright, let's try and pin 
down a shrine which I saw a glint of. There it is. It's not just about visible despite palm trees hiding it from me. I believe that is a shrine. Something interesting over there. Luminous rocks. Those can be mined for interesting stuff. Not really worth pinning there. Gulling the moon. No dragons, although I did see something come up out of this valley and head toward the plateau over toward that direction. Oh, oh that's just a pin. It's, that's the Temple of Time, I think. tower in the far distance. What I'd like to do is head over there and stop these assholes from capering. I think I've got the glide distance for it. If I don't, I've got to be careful because like if I didn't make the glide um, I wouldn't be able to climb up the slippery Misa face in the rain. That looks easy though. They'd like arguing over three shiny objects so I want those objects. Nope, oh, need a real weapon. Yeah. Hmm, or I could use some gimmick weapons. <laughs> yeah, these guys with their metal armor in the rain are actually a pretty good subject for lightning rod. Which seems to have run out of lightning. <laughs> oh, well, that was good for a while. Oh, oh, I see it. Uh, re lightnings up. So we're fighting over Durians? Various cool plants here. Ooh, beetles. Those rhino beetles of various kinds are good, partly because they let you raise your defense in dishes, but also because beetle prizes them highly. He will give you things for beetles. Ah, skeleton's not very impressed by being electrocuted. They don't give a shit. Whoa. Didn't think he'd be that accurate. Get god. Yeah, you wriggle those arms. Alright, nothing else up here. Well, there might be some things. There are a lot of durians. Like, if I ever want durians, I know where to come now. I think at this point, I consider Farron to be somewhat explored. There's plenty of, like, exploration of details to do, but, uh, oh shit, oh shit. That's it, that's the thing I saw. So there are dragons here. Now what the hell do I do about that? unclear how I can affect it in any way, or even reach it in a timely manner. But you know what? It looks cool. Alright, noted. This is Dragon Country. There's like a much longer bridge thing down there. I mean... Ah, fuck it. I'm going to fly in that direction and see what happens. Oh. One other thing. 
things that might happen is I might discover a shrine. That would be good. Whoa! And an updraft of some sort. Well, that's cool. Also some kind of... Is that a staples? How? Well, I, I guess I do have a map on my Sheikah Slate, yeah. My Dueling Peaks, yes. Dragon God split the mountain in half. Shadow of a large creature on the surface of Lake Floria. So when you say large creature... <laughs> Take a look to your left, old man. It's a pretty large creature. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna register myself with this shrine here. This here shrine. I'm sure I saw a shrine go around here. Didn't I? Huh. How was it? It must be up an elevation level. Cool. A shrine, as promised. So I guess it's not common knowledge that there's like an enormous glowing dragon out there. Like, maybe most people don't routinely climb to very high points and take a look around. Because the people running a stable here, um, it might not be wise to do that. Maybe it's a friendly dragon? I've got a lookout platform thing, but maybe it only comes out at night. Because I've only seen it at night myself and it glows. Ooh, here's someone to talk to about dragons. Feel very something. Yes, I am good at that. Fish and fruit, for sure, absolutely. Ah, uh, I've, I've had dubious meals at times, yes. Okay, is that, is that all you wanted to ask? <laughs> I guess cooking is a difficult business in Hyrule for everyone. Hmm, wagons full of hay. Fuel for horses, I assume. And beetles here somehow. What I could do is I could rest here until night time and then take a- oh, hello. Updraft somehow. I have no idea how this works. Where's this strong wind coming from? Oh, oh shit, it's visible again. So it's not just out in the night time. Yeah, there's literally a dragon right here. Lake Florian. So... Let's get closer to this thing and see if anything can be done. Or should be done, even. I've got a big sword. Not all that powerful, but it's physically large. And, uh... I do have quite a few arrows that I could shoot from a bow, which is probably more relevant. Wow. Just kind of fucking flying away into the sky. Hey... Do you know anything about dragons? Lurulin Village trade route. Lake Hylia, Finra Woods, West. I'm not... Well, yeah, I want to see what he's got for sale. Hmm. 
Hmm. So one direction on this road is, is something cool, I guess. Eh, I can live without these things for now. Still gotta chop down some trees at some point. I... Is that dragon going into a, sp a sky portal? Like a swirling maelstrom within the clouds? Can it do that? Goodbye, I guess. I've seen pinwheels like this before. Yeah, archery practice targets. You know what's really good for archery? A phrenic bow. Yeah. These things are basically cheating, in fact. Thank you. Oh, the dragon portal has, has closed, I guess. Huh. Perhaps I will do the nighttime shift thing. Huh, Lurulin Village. Fish and fruit. What should it say? Okay, I guess. Oh, fine. Well, various things are impelling me to head in this direction. Uh, it's been suggested there might be some sort of settlement to find. And also, there's a shrine somewhere. Uh, which way is it? This way ish. So, sure, let's follow this road for a while. Eastward. I didn't expect there to be anything here. I thought I'd been. Oh, you know what? I hadn't been here. This is like the black out, blacked out area of the map. Oh, yikes! Help! Says someone. Yeah, stop the goblin. Whatever you're doing, cease to do it. I've got way too much non-good melee stuff hanging around in my inventory. Right, are you two okay? Do I know you? I think I do. Ah, yes, the Silent Princess like is. I actually found some Silent Princess. Um, I don't know if they need to find it themselves though. I see, yes, they need to pluck it themselves. For romance. That's how flowers work, I guess. Well, this is extremely rainy. Now, I was heading generally eastward, wasn't I, before things started to go wrong? Not that they went wrong for me, but for Ty and Nat. Alright, let's so just drop some bones. Huh. Whoa! Whoa. So I think there's kind of a shrine this way. I mean, the marker thing, but it's not a very strong pulse. It could be that I'm too high up or too low down to find the shrine.
not safe to climb rocks in the wood. Rocks in the rain, I mean. But climbing a tree, that might be okay. No, it's not okay. I'll just grab these bananas. That you can do while it's raining. I can see quite a lot of lightning striking all around here. Slightly worries me. So I'm going to do the unsafe. Ah. Hmm. Pillars of waterfall. And a shrine ping. I have suspicions. That area looks, uh, very official. Portentous. Let's check it out. Under fish here. Hmm. Is there anything beyond that waterfall? I suspect there is. Although, it doesn't feel like a safe way to approach it. Considerably higher ground, I think. Or considerably lower. Oh, the thunderstorm has found me. This reminds me of the um, climate of Even Eventide Island. All the same, it's the same kind of biome, basically. Bulls and bananas and thunder. <laughs> Just bashed in the head. Prime meat. I think I want to be up there for shrine purposes. Very wet though. Yeah, it's not gonna work out. Unless there's a ridge up right there. No. Doesn't look like it looks like you can almost stand there but not quite, it's not steep enough. I mean it's too steep. Flat enough, not shallow enough. Is there a way up that's feasible in the rain? Not necessarily. I can knock this thing pretty high up in the air. But now nah, not really directly up, I think. What I can do though is find out whatever's underneath it. Or can I? Gosh. That worked better. I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh, there's literally nothing here. Wow. What a waste of weapon durability. Shrine ping. That way? Is that way? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's up there. Which would make sense. If there was some way to just get time to pass, I could, so I could just wait out the rain. You can make a campfire, I believe, out of wood and 
flint. I've never tried that. If I need more wood, not less. Let's track it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark, long lasting flame if you use it near firewood. So if I had somewhere that was dry at all. Oh, 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 hello. If there's a cave there, I can make it fire and stuff. Boy. This is indeed a cave. Nice. Alright, let's try this again. Flint and fire, we'll drop them on the ground. Strike with metal. Wow! That's literally a campfire. Seems like a good place to rest. Cool! I'm doing wildernessing. Shame about the wood. Also, it's still raining. Gosh. Could I fast travel to somewhere near here, but more congenial? The place I want to be is basically up there. Roughly. Oh, I can't even do that. Let's have a look at the map. Hmm. Yeah, the Tower Jin Shrine here. If I go, um west by southwest from that shrine which is located uh, on a range of foothills I may have some luck this creates another discontinuity in the hero's path at some point. You know, Hyrule doesn't have very good weather. Like, it's just not the sort of place you retire to, is it? This perch. What did I see there for a sec? Ah, just a tower top. Right, this is where I was headed ish. Nice tree. Nice. Apple Depository. Thank you. From this little peak here, I think I'll be able to see into the region I'm interested in. The one in which I believe a shrine lies, and which is on the way to L something village. I feel a little guilty about looking for another village when I haven't even done the stuff available to do in Hate No Village. I guess it's fine if there's multiple places in the world. is strong in this direction. I 
as is the dragon. What? Music. Who's playing music? Oh my god! It's Cass! I haven't seen you in a while. Nice barding. Very atmospheric. Yeah, that's me, a well-worn traveller. Uh. <laughs> Yes! Play me the engine first. Ooh. I hope it's not just the same one again. Lost hero calls down lightning from the sky. The monk responds from a giant mound on high. This is a shrine quest. Thank you. Song of Storms. I wish I knew it was the Song of Storms to stop storms from happening. <laughs> I need a Song of Unstorms. Well, I know of one way to call down lightning from the sky. <laughs> and I don't like it. Let me just... I'm going to go stand on that mound. Let's hope this isn't what you have to do. Nice dragon. Alright. Do your worst. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I wasted used stuff in theory, but it worked. Not sure that was the best way to do things. Let's go keep Cass informed. Doesn't sound much like the old Song of Storms. The old one was pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, I was worried when it struck me down and literally killed me. Thank you. Friend Cass. Cool than I thought it would be. And also more deadly. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Now about this village. A bit hard to see anything at the moment. Apart from the dragon, which is uh, highly visible. I kind of want to take a pot shot at it. Phrenic bow's not metal, right? Is 
there any point in doing this? No, it's quite a long way away. It's just very large. Yeah, you fucking go into the sky. I guess it does that at dawn every day? No, I would probably midday. So it's at night time at the lake would be when it was most accessible. Looking at these roads, I hypothesize the village would be here-ish. It'd be nice to have more visibility though. Well, if I stand on top of that big mountain thing, I might be able to see a little further. Ah, there's a cross. Okay, the sun's come out. And there's a crossroads here, and crossroads mean road signs. Uh, maybe, sometimes. On this occasion, I guess they don't. Uh, at least I don't see one. But I do see... Hey! A shopkeeper? Hey! Fine bananas. They're available to buy. Yeah, he's from the Yika clan. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's literally selling bananas. These are very expensive bananas! <laughs> no. That's a liar slippery as a banana. Ah, okay. Fuck. <laughs> okay, this rules. I was fooled. Why do I even have a moblin spear? Sheikah will defeat me. Oh. Give me some help, guy on a horse. The bananas. <laughs> that was really good. Hey. My horse is spinch. Yeah, well, my tank is fight. This sweet acrobatic move. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a horse with me right now. Otherwise, I'd try out the sweet acrobatic move. Okay, cool. So these towers in the distance, are those the... Is that a village? Of some sort? Looks like it might be. Just killing a goat. Oh! Little boss. Doing a very successful chameleonic thing. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> and now that I think about it, that uh that looks like the sort of place little Foss live. But I mean... Maybe I shouldn't assume... Maybe? Hmm... Uh, there is a road here, sort of. I mean, it's marked on the map as a road. But I think this road may be paved with good intentions. Nice cliffs.
Oh, it's uh, some butterflies or something. This is pretty, this beach. Yeah, well, this is kind of cool. It doesn't look like a Hylian town. Yeah, okay, I see the goblins, the goblins now. Hmm. Well, this will be an interesting challenge. A marine assault. <coughs> Rather than take the raft here, I think I'll uh, come from the uh, southern jetty. Try and take out a couple of outer sentries. Oh. Ah, he's old. It's too late. Ah, he shot. Oh, whatever. Okay, not much use sneaking now. How to get up to some of those platforms? Oh, stairs over there. Right, this was exactly the wrong place to approach from, wasn't it? <laughs> On the other hand, most of them can't do anything to me. They're just kind of screaming and throwing stuff. It's kind of cute. Nice burning fish heads used as torches. They're not very high tech, these book problems. <laughs> yeah, shoot fire arrows into the water. <laughs> That'll teach me. I really like that power. This is kind of what I was going to do with the spear anyway, but more so. Well, that didn't work so well. There's a defense up dish. Stop that. Okay, now I'm not being shot. This may be easier. There's no one left to hear your call. Chump. I mean, big as in, like, powerful or whatever. He's got a good shield and sword. A skull around his neck. I don't think I've ever seen one that high level looking. He's not physically large. Let's take out uh, an actual good bow. And, uh, give him the little treatment. out of the way. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, rip my helmet, but also rip that guy. Lizzle Tri Boomerang. Wow, uh, does that even work at all? <laughs> Tried by Black Lizzle Fall seasoned in battle. Dang. This is the key. The Guardian Shield can deflect a single Guardian shot. So that's worth keeping. Let's try out this stuff. Pretty specky. I'm using basically all Lizzle gear here. The Lizzlefoss are somewhat better at blacksmithing than their Oblin cousins. Cool, it's not very good. Okay, so this wasn't El Whatever Village. That is probably El Whatever Village. I should climb up this mountain, I think. Or whether or not I should, I definitely will. Being blown off course. The map continues to allege the presence of a road. And this road supposedly winds up the mountain. Ah, yeah, that's a, that's a path, I guess. It's at the very least, it's a track. Dead fish. Another thing monsters like living in. The first time I saw some of those, I thought they might be Zora habitats, but uh, it turns out the Zora are actually excellent sculptors. They don't need to live in big dead fish, not anymore. In Ocarina of Time, they did. Nice moon. For a moon clown. And this southeastern coastal village that really exists, um, producing a lot of fish. Fruit I'm not so sure about. Well, there are palm fruits and things. Actually, there's the bananas and so on. <laughs> that freaking <laughs> traveling banana salesman, yes. What would he have done if I'd actually bought them? Still tried to kill me, maybe? On the way to Dueling Peaks, though. What is that summit? It's uh, Mount Floria. 
Cool, to get above the lake floor, yeah? Makes sense. I thought so. <laughs> Sorry. And there's a Farron. Jungled land with a dragon in it. Beyond which is I believe that may be Gerudo country, the Mise zone. Oh, and there's the thing again. Oh. Is that one of my pins? It is, yeah, not a starfall. Wouldn't want to miss a starfall. I'd like to try confronting the dragon, but not right now. Not at this instant. Corn Beach, Kogobi Shores. I wonder if I've missed this supposed village. Oh, now this, this has got to be Sweetheart Lake. <laughs> that other guy was so far off. <laughs> okay, man, you go talk to whoever that is. <laughs> I have a blue nightshade. Hello. I might go and see who this is and whether she'd be like bothered by a random guy coming up and talking to her. Yeah, Sevasava, for sure. Mm? Am I... the Vo? Uh. Mm. Strange Vo. What is a Vo? Hmm. Well, if she's here looking to meet someone, um... Thinks this guy looks strange. I, I'll leave it up to them. I'll, I'll give him a blue nightshade and see what he does with it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Come on. Oh. Try it. All oh, right, all right, what? Look, he's crying today. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sure. Wouldn't want to be misunderstood here. It's not very far to walk. I feel like maybe I should take it to the guy at the Broken Heart Lake. Tell him to come here. Ah, I don't know. Huh? It's from that guy. What does that word mean, voe? Mm. <laughs> 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 My favorite flower, are you a spy? <laughs> I 
I'm not sure they're on the same page, but... <laughs> of course, a true love runs expensive. Sure, have fun. Try actually talking to each other at some point. A lot of radishes around here. <laughs> well, if she's happy with the idea. I feel like I should tell the other guy about this, uh, this actual sweetheart leak. Where's that other road end? Just kind of in nothing, I guess. Oh! Do I see a town down there? And a shrine. So there is an ill something village. Can't make out much of the details in the dark here. But someone lives here. Durlin. as it would be to explore a new village. I've been playing for quite a while. So, let's stop here-ish. My last act today, we'd go and find the guy on Mount the Wrong One, Ebon Mountain. Right, that was the broken heart. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can tell him he's in the wrong place. If he wants to find his true love, he's gotta go somewhere much rainier. Fastest way to travel. Jumping. Oh, it was in some of the older games. No, that was for forward rolling, I remember. Majora's Mask used to just like roll across the whole map. Like, so it was at least 10% faster than walking. It's a huge difference. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's still here. And more fairies. No, no, come back. I, I scared them. Fuck. Gosh. I wasn't expecting the fairies. And I made a mistake. <laughs> Try another pond. Though I'm not sure that's actually how it works for everyone. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> I mean, he might have still use the wrong one pond, but yeah, give it a shot. Alright, it's interesting, the area of Farron, you basically can't see it from here, like it's uh, hidden behind that mountain range that runs across here. You can only see dueling peaks and kind of Hatno and Nakluda. I think if I glide like so, this would have been, though I didn't know it at the time, the fastest way into Farron proper, like the Farron Dragon Zone. I'm doing this without consulting the map to kind of make sure that I go to have a good handle on geography. I believe down this valley here is the very same small village I was just at before. Well, I don't know about small, but um, seaside town. Let's test this plane. Don't run out of stamina. You'll be slow. The contour map and the minimap is handy. Here up here. Maybe Lost the flower. Confusing. Pretty sure if I did find it several more times, there would be a core seed in it for me eventually. But I'm not sure where the next flower location is. Oh! Come on. Yeah, yeah ha ha to you two. Bye bye. That Korok was annoying. Ooh. I'm actually a little further away from Farron than I thought I was still. So my grasp of the geography was not perfect. Or am I? Is it just down here? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll open the map. It is, it is just down here. Okay, I was right the first time. <laughs> Lurillon Village. Someday I'll go there. Not right now, though. Okay, thanks for watching. This game is good.